New at six, as Lahaina residents recover, their high school football team is helping to lead the way. Generations of families are part of the football program that's more than just a sport. As Kristen Concili reports, it's also a beacon of hope. We're playing the game of our life. And that game is rebuilding this community. There are few things that capture the resiliency of Lahaina than the return of its high school football team. We just got pushed through the pain. It's unfortunate that it takes a tragedy like this, but at the same time, it teaches these kids that life can change in an instant. NFL films followed the Luna's journey after the August 8th wildfire disaster to their first winning game of the season. Capturing the sweat and heart on the football field after almost half the school's thousand athletes lost everything. I go home every night to not in to just a pitch black area. Everybody lost so much, it's hard to like keep it together sometimes. Keith Amemia, head of Governor Josh Green's Sports Task Force, helped coordinate the production of the documentary. Because it gives the, the young men and women at Lahaina Luna High School purpose, something to do, something to divert their attention from the tragedy that they just faced, the unimaginable tragedy. He's also leading a Luna Strong fundraising campaign that's so far raised more than half a million dollars for the school's athletic programs. There are other possible films, documentaries and series in the works, uh, possibly Netflix. And the more people understand about the Lahaina story, the more that they'll be inclined to help because uh, the, the financial cost to, uh, as a result of the fire is immense. Telling the stories of a grief-stricken community, thousands still displaced from their homes, is touching the hearts of pro athletes from Hawaii and around the world. And inspiring many to rally behind Lahaina residents as they heal and pray for a better tomorrow. The school is always serves as that, that beacon of hope. Kristen Concilio, Island News.